Good morning, everyone. I hate that the second I move, this has to refocus, but um, it is Tuesday the 16th. Uh, I have the flash on on my camera because my room is currently um, blacked out. So, um, once summertime hits, we're, we're not opening them curtains. Our room gets way too hot because the way the sun is, it's like it's almost on our room like all day long. So it gets way too hot in our room. And I swap, swapped, I think I told y'all last time, I swapped our curtains with the boys' room. So I guess I could go ahead and show y'all that because I did forget to show y'all that last week. So let me flip y'all around and go show y'all all the curtains. These, I need to buy new curtain rods for up there. Not rods, but the little... I use these command things, like even though we own our house, I don't want to put a ton of holes everywhere. So I use these command strips, but I need to buy some new ones because these are no longer, um, these are no longer sticky. So I need to buy some new ones, like some new strips for them. But, so three of them, three of the dark gray curtains came from the boys room, one came from the dining room which now the dining room has the ones from the guest room which used to be in the guest room because again out here we want it to be like out in the living area we want it to be the coolest that it can be and those actually get like make it darker in here than the ones that were that used to be in our room would like let me show you how much light you still get so these curtains are the ones that used to be in our room so it looks, a ton of light still comes in through these, um, which I was fine with because our plant is in here. I did have to buy one more because I needed a total of five to move everything around. So I did end up only buying one more curtain, which was the cheapest option and the cheapest route. So I put those in here. The only room that still has the same ones is the office, which you can see those make it pretty dark in here too. But again, if I had wanted to use these ones in our room, I would have had to buy two. And so it still would have been more expensive. So luckily, I did it. And then again, this is the boys' room. Now they have light. They don't have to worry about um, having to open the curtains throughout the day. And it'll still keep it, like, see, like, behind the curtain, it's super hot. But on this side of the curtain, it's super cool. So they don't have to worry about, like, turning on the light or opening the curtains and risking it getting hot I still do I do still want to buy fans one for the living room a new one for our room and the one that's in our room I want to put it in the boys room but everything in due time the plan today is Tuesday the plan for today is get my chore done so I'm going to put down some carpet freshener right now and then I'm going to film my, uh, or actually I'm going to get ready. Should I get ready? Look, I'm breaking out. I think it's because I got my birth control taken out. So I had this one. This one's gone. This one's going down. Um, but these two, see, this one is actually going down. This one is new, has not been popped, has not turned white. So we love that for me. Uh, yeah, so the so plan is get dressed. We'll get ready for the day get ready for the day a little bit of bible study time well first we're going to put carpet freshener down get ready for the day um film my daily devotional for tiktok and also do my um, morning bible time which is finishing that book and like making notes out of it and then do my chore and then um do some computer work while the boys get up get ready and eat and stuff like that so that's the plan for today so i'll see you guys um in a little bit i guess um i also need to film or not film but edit for youtube today so hopefully we can get that done too this is like the first tuesday in forever that i haven't had to go get <laughs> carpet freshener but now i know like this weekend or something i'm gonna need to go buy some because this is almost out Can y'all tell I changed the color of the light out in my room specifically because of the vlogs? <laughs> this 
so weird because like when it's time to vacuum my floors like it gets this weird feeling like it gets this weird feeling like it's constantly wet and it's not but I think it's maybe just in my head because like I know it's time to vacuum so maybe in my head I'm like ew the floors are dirty um but yeah the d -bot, I'm really just ready to get rid of that thing because it's just not doing what it needs to do anymore and I'm really just tired of it honestly but um yeah probably maybe if I bought replacement parts maybe I'll look at some replacement parts for it today see if maybe it'll act right if I change those parts out it's really been on my nerves lately because like it constantly like so with the d-bot like you can bluetooth it to your phone it's supposed to map out your house and things like that but like it somehow like for one it can never find like its charging spot and every time it can't find its charging spot like it just just to connect from your phone like it's not synced with your phone anymore or anything like that so I'm really just frustrated with it I also just need a new one but it's like whenever I bought that one those things were only going for 200 bucks and now it's like since those type of things got more popular they're like 600 700 for nothing cheaper than 400 bucks and I'm like well I'm just not willing to spend that so but I really do want a new one but, um, I gotta put this thing up Our floors are so dirty because it's been raining a lot here. That's also probably why I feel like the floors are wet too because it's been raining a lot here. Boys be just bringing in anything inside the house. I don't understand why it's so hard to do this. Like even if you're not going to fold the blanket, why is it so hard to do this? I don't understand kids and I don't understand husbands. <sighs> all right you guys so obviously you can see i'm ready but i still have not uploaded what i needed to upload to tiktok um i have started vacuuming i rearranged the boys room decluttered the boys room i did all of that because it really 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 needed it so it put me behind um i had to take out trash feed the boys so this is what the office is looking like this is the boys room so like I said we rearranged it you can kind of tell the difference they're just up there uh, reading some books right now their lesson for today is to learn how to be still and be quiet I know I know that sounds mean but my kids do not understand like it doesn't have like you don't have to just because you're awake doesn't mean you have to be running around yelling, screaming, playing. So today's lesson is to learn how to just tone it down. We'll probably work on that for the rest of the week. So like I said, we decluttered their toys. So all of their blocks used to be in that gray thing. And then that stuff that's in the gray thing now just used to be out and about. Um, we decluttered a lot. So whatever blocks didn't fit in there got chunked got chunked um we got rid of a bunch of broken toys so they used to have two of those filled with toys now they are down to one um decluttered their books so any books that were ripped up or torn got thrown away i wasn't just throwing away books to throw them away but they're ripped up or torn they got thrown away this little stack here are library books their library books lay flat to keep them completely separate from what's on the shelf and what's in here these are more of their like children's children's books so you know it's not really like they're not really like, okay so those are their children's books not really for like educational purposes those are more like fun books they do have some fun books on this shelf however a lot of those the books on this shelf are educational books like even though they're fun or cartoonish like you can learn like lessons from them, like how to share, how to be kind, things like that. That's that little diffuser that I showed you guys last time that I got from Family Dollar. I brought a couple more of their games in here because I do want them to learn how to like enjoy books, enjoy games. Um, also, um, enjoy their puzzles. This one's a game and they have one other game in here this one so game game and then the rest are puzzles but I do want them to learn how to like enjoy things like that instead of only toys um, so 
how does that we did that? They do have some. Um, they do have some comic books, and then I did set up like like I said. I want that fan to be in here. That fan will be in here during the day, but in our room at night, just until we get them a fan for in here, so then they can sit there and watch TV whenever they're allowed to watch TV. They know that they're really not usually ever allowed to watch TV until about four or five o'clock in the day. And they're usually outside or in their room playing. So like I said, I really want them to learn how to play with other things and learn how to be quiet. So that's really what we're working on today, and that's one of the beautiful things about homeschool is that you get to teach these kinds of lessons. King is currently doing speech therapy. So yeah, I'm gonna I need to wrap in the later. now. So I'll get that done in just a minute and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright you guys. Um, my chores for the most part are done. I just gotta get the diffusers going. I just finished vacuuming. Yes, you gotta love Do y'all ever just get tired of life like I really need a break from my kids. I was heating up their food. And I never have. I always have the boys plates like a good like two hand lengths away from the edge. Just because things like today happen. Bryson decides to go mess with the food. Can we have the food? Can we have the food? Bryson, no. You can wait until everybody's food is ready. You can wait until y'all are done doing the laundry. You can wait. So he moves the freaking plate to the edge. Optimus jumps up there, drops the whole freaking plate of food. I'm, I'm over it. But I'm about to finally do my Bible time because I need it. The boys are staying in their room all day, like I said. Which, I've got so many sponsored things to do. So many. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I just finished my lunch, you guys. I also finished, um, okay, so... I'm about to get dinner in the crock pot, make country style ribs. I'm just gonna make them barbecue style. Uh, I might make chicken nuggets for the boys though, because I don't know if there's gonna be enough for me to eat some ribs, Brian to eat some ribs, and then enough for the boys. There's that, so I need onion, the crock pot. I'm gonna end up having to cook these on high for four to six hours instead of on low for six to eight. We have our country style ribs. Let me go ahead and just get everything prepped. I have to be very careful when I have this on a tripod because I already broke my camera, the little part where the, the, the thing goes in to hook it to the tripod. Just leave that to the side. That's Ethan's sweater. Just leave it for Ethan to hang up. <clears throat> so yeah, I have to be careful when I have my, <clears throat> goodness, my camera on a tripod. Probably gonna have to go buy some barbecue sauce after this. Okay, so we got garlic powder, black pepper, slap the mama, beef fajita. I'm not gonna use onion powder just because I have, we're using an onion. But, and then also just some pink Himalayan salt.
so dinner's in the crock pot. Put my hair up. Um, just had a little mini meltdown. There's grief will really have you feeling bipolar. Like grief will legitimately, legitimately make you feel like you're bipolar. Um, I have a package here for my sister, but I'm going to unbox it on TikTok so that way I can tag her so that way she can get more orders on her website and I will also link her website down below this video. So yeah. Let's go, let's go. Alright, in the room. I'll see you guys after I make this TikTok. Alright you guys, so here are the things that I paid for. I got this glass that she makes. She screen prints these and then puts it on these tumblers. So this one is, she is clothed, let me see, I wonder if I zoom in if it'll focus. There we go. She is clothed in strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. How pretty is that? I'm about to put some lemon water in it for me right now because I trust my sister. And then I got this cup for my best friend. Ooh, let me just stick this in the other box. Throw this box away and then stick my friends. My best friend, Tiandra. Hold on. Get the other box. I got her this cup. This is the I am who God says I am. And it just has a bunch of different scriptures on it. Going over like who God says that you are. So every time my best friend pulls out a cup, she can read one of these. And read who God says that she is. So... Yeah, got that for her. Oh, and then I think, oh, I got this hat. This hat was another thing that I ordered. Got this little, like, terry cloth hat. This is actually blue. The um, light is making it, like, reflect, but that's actually blue. And then the last thing, the last thing I got was this shirt. So on the front, it has an open Bible right here. And then on the back, let's see, I could just do it this way. And then on the back, it says, In a world full of chaos, read your Bible. I couldn't think of a better saying. So, yeah, I'm about to pack this cut back up. Oh, she did send me a couple of free things. What's my art? Well, this was a free thing that she sent me. It was like a little keychain, a little cross keychain. She made these for me for my birthday. So these are car coasters, and these have mine and Brian's last name initial on it. And then she made me this puzzle. It's all about sisters. And um, it just has, like, a bunch of pictures of us. And then on it, it says, hold on. So this is what it says underneath the puzzle. A sister is a lifelong best friend from forever thankful for you. Like I said, this was actually a birthday gift that she kept forgetting to send me. And then um, she includes these kind of cards in all her orders. This is the one she sent me. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. So I'm going to leave this on my dresser because I see it every morning. And then on the other side, it's, it says, in my heart, I'm holding you tight, which made me cry because I miss her so much. But, um, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to go ahead and rest for the rest of the day. Put my hair up in a clip. And yeah, so see you guys later. Let's go, bye bye. Oh. That's King Bryson's right there. King Bryson. Let's let's go. Go oh, stop it, Bryson! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! No, 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 no! Let's go, Bryson! Hurry! Oh, and of course, when I set the camera down, Bryson scored.
He stole the ball from his teammate, though. Bryson's trying to line himself up. Can't get it! Can't get it! Go get it, Kingy! Go get it, Kingy! Oh no. He got pulled. Woo! That was loud. There you go, King! Let's go, King! Oh gosh. King gets intimidated the second someone takes it from him. Alright, you guys. There we go. There's some better lighting. All right, you guys, we just left their game. I did have that meat in the crock pot, but I guess we'll just have that for lunch tomorrow. Um, we are at Taco Bell right now. This is what the boys wanted. They did win their game. The score was 5-2, to two, although Bryson thinks he lost just because one other kid scored a goal. So. No, Bryson's used to outscore the other team. That's true. Bryson's used to scoring the most points, so he's, he swears he lost, but he did not lose. Their team, their team won. Okay. So... But yeah, we are here at Taco Bell. That's what they wanted. They love Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. We love Taco Bell. So, okay. So I think we're going to go ahead and order. Crack them some tacos. And like I said, we'll just have the meat that I cooked today for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, you guys. We are back home. Y'all see how different the lighting is once like 5 o'clock hits in our bedroom? Because now I don't have on the flash. But that's how intense the sun can come through on our side of the house. And that's why I wanted the darker ones in here. Like the last summer, it was hot in our room. Like we did not want to be in our room. So I'm glad that I found an affordable way to fix that. But we're home. I'm about to shower. I just packed up the meat that I had made that we were going to eat for dinner. Saved some for me and the boys for lunch. And then saved, uh, gave some to Brian for lunch. And then we have like little like instant like mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese little sides. And so I'm sending those to work with Brian tomorrow, so he has a full and complete lunch. And then me and the boys will have a full and complete lunch. But, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys good night. And then, so after I shower, I'll probably do my nighttime Bible study, which is my read and write the word, and uh, my Roman study. Because I did start that um, in the mornings. I think I told y'all. But in the mornings, I've just been doing my uh, little five-minute daily devotional. And, um, so a five minute daily devotional. I'm reading my book. So, once I finish this book, I will find another book to read. But right now, I'm still reading that Wife After God because I missed like a week. Like, I didn't do it for like a week. So, but I'm on day 25. I believe there's only like six days left. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I have my ring light on. Like, that's been our little lamp in here. Um, I just finished getting ready. I got out of the bed, I would say, at about 10 o'clock. 10.30. Probably closer to 10.30 because it's 10.50 now. Ethan, I've already asked you nicely and have told you nicely you are being too loud. Oh, that boy wakes up hollering. Like, hollering little ring for, like, no reason. Um, I need to put on some earrings. Um, we did not feel like doing the hair today it's just not gonna happen so sun's out buns out it is um so i need to just look at our laundry though look at how much laundry we have so, i never let us get that much laundry there's laundry on the floor there's laundry up there um not to mention 
we need to wash our towels. So I'm going to do our laundry today, wash our towels tomorrow, and then I think we'll be caught up on laundry. Y'all, when I tell you I was mentally not okay last week, like I slapped on everything. I need to mop the house today, but I really don't want to do that till tonight just because the way my kids are set up. So I probably won't mop until tonight. And yeah, but I still need to fix my bed to sort this laundry. So I think I'm going to sort the laundry first and get that started. I can make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light The amount of laundry we have is just unacceptable for me to be a grown woman. My bad. Bed is fixed. I had to snap Raquel back. She's having some issues. They're supposed to be moving, so I am. I hate how big my head is, and then it, my bun makes it look like a cone. I feel so ugly when I look like this. But anyways, I'm gonna do everything else that I gotta do for this morning. So spend time in the word and things like that, and then I'll be done. All right, you guys. Um. It is now the afternoon. I still have some Bible reading to do. I just finished getting the boys' lunch ready. 
I did so many random chores. I did, I am an affiliate with this one company for homeschooling. And when you're an affiliate with someone, like there's certain things that you have to do every month. Like, so <clears throat> I got that work done. Um, King's been watching school on YouTube all morning. Went outside, did some chores, switched the laundry loads. Let me know if you're a stay at home mom, like, do you easily get sucked into the random chores? I have nothing to do with today in, or your day. But anyways, this is the boys' lunch. So this is what we would have had for dinner had I eaten at home last night. So it's just the country-style beef, ribs, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. So that's what they are having for lunch. I don't have the biggest appetite right now. So because I don't have the biggest appetite, I'm not going to force myself to eat right now. I'm going to read and then see how I feel after I read. Yesterday, I ate a Totino's pizza for lunch. I might just eat a chimichanga for lunch today. I don't know. I don't know. Or if there's a salad left. I don't know if Brian ate all the salads already. We'll see. But yeah, that's where I'm at currently. So, all right, you guys. I just finished reading my Life After God. I'm about to do the journal part of it. And then um, I ended up ordering me some church's chicken. King barely finished watching videos. So what I'm going to do is put this put this SD card into the computer so that way I can import the vlog from Friday. Get that edited, get that uploaded, because I have not uploaded anything at all this week, and it's already Wednesday. So we're going to get some footage put up. So today may actually be the end of this vlog, so that way I can have something up by Friday. But um, we shall see. I'll let you guys know. But right now I'm going to eat. I took out some meat for dinner and I ordered some breadcrumbs so that way I really want meatloaf so I'm gonna try to start cooking the meatloaf at like five so that way um, I'm gonna start cooking the meatloaf at five so that way it's done by six so that way um, or I just may not go to the gym but I really want meatloaf tonight so like meatloaf broccoli and mashed potatoes and I think that that sounds really good so <sighs> yeah that's gonna be the plan I'll see you guys later all right, you guys, this footage is off my phone because I have the memory card in my computer, but this is how dinner turned out. Meatloaf, I ended up doing asparagus with instant mashed potatoes because I was out of, I was out of heavy cream, I was out of Greek yogurt, so I had nothing to make my homemade potatoes creamy, so I just used instant potatoes. How is it, babe? How is it, boys? It's good. It's good. <laughs> And all right, you guys, with that being said, with that being said, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I will post the recipe for the meatloaf in the description box. I'm just gonna end the night by my usual, finishing up some chores um, and doing my nighttime Bible study, shower, unwind and things like that. The only difference is that I'm having to add to my night routine now is I have to take magnesium or I cannot sleep, so. Brian's gonna hold me accountable so I can get that done because I just cannot sleep here recently and I really want to get better about that so yeah I love you guys but always remember that Jesus loves you more if you have not already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye